Hello everyone, let's get started. Still scrubby hair, my beard is growing back slowly. Today is nice weather outside, my dog is sleeping on my side. Today's topic is I want to show again how the market will work regarding liquidity, market takers and market makers. I will provide two PDFs in the description of the video, please check it out. In one I basically have um, put some information around market taking and market making. Um, I also want to quickly, before we start into the topic of the liquidity, I want to recap again on the buy and sell walls because there are still people out there I think not quite understanding how that works and I confirm it's not really easy. So the picture you're showing, you're seeing here would be a trade of something. The current price is set as 4, let's assume it's somewhere, somewhere where it came according to the Shane Ellis theory and on, on this price of 4 we have a huge buy and sell wall for let's say 100 million dollars or something. So on the ask side, if you're trying to sell your XRP, you will want to get as close to that wall as possible in order to maximize your profit, okay? That's why I marked the two in red. You will not want to sell for two. You want to try to sell at 3, maybe 350 or 390 to come as close to that wall as possible. That to be able to be sell unless you want to sell more than the wall actually. On the other side, on the, on the buy side, it's actually the same. We will have a wall for let's say again 100 million dollars. And if you want to buy, you, you will need to offer more, but you won't offer six dollars. You will want to offer five or four fifty or four ten maybe. So that keeps the price more or less in an equilibrium. Okay. So that's for for this buy and sell wall so that you understand how this will work. I was again <coughs> kind of bombarded with a negative comment regarding that it, do, that it will not work this way and my uh, because basically someone could buy XRP for 50 cents and my and, and, and again my answer was which sorry idiot would sell his XRP for 50 cents knowing there is the, such a high demand on other exchanges that he could get 500 or 50 or whatever just way more no one would sell it for 50 cents anymore just plain stupid okay um, now regarding this market making and market taking please read this text I have marked in yellow after I have explained. Maybe you pause the video and, and, and read it after. And it's, it, I will also make it available in the, P, in the description as a PDF. It's actually a document um, published by Ripple themselves in I think 2016. So two years ago okay so they have been aware of that fact that they will be required to provide liquidity for about two years okay 
So we know that they have been working on that. Remember my, my last video called Relax? No one builds a car and forgets about the engine, the heart of the system. They know, they being Ripple, know exactly what they're doing. Exactly. And they will make sure it'll happen. I have zero doubts about that. Now, regarding market taking and market making. Basically, a market taker usually buys at the current price. He just want to get hold of the asset, whatever the price is currently. Okay? So he kind of gets the stuff he wants immediately. That's the point. He pays the current price because he wants it immediately. The market maker, on the other hand, usually with his bids and offers, which we could assume might be those sell walls and a little bit up or down below, those walls in order to satisfy our needs retail investors because basically those two the takers and the makers and we retail investors once we buy we usually are takers we want to buy now because we have basically no knowledge how the price develops usually we assume it's going up so we want to buy now not when it's already 10 percent up and those two the taker and the maker basically make only a fluid and liquid market possible and actually this market making um principle is i think in uk even a job description there exists a job description called market maker and the only thing they're actually doing is providing enough liquidity to the market they sell and buy stuff just to get the market going they don't they they are on short and on long they do both basically their function or role is to to have the market fluid okay the market taker I, I mentioned it again is the guy who buys basically immediately and and the the maker tries with his spreads to keep to keep a certain price level and now coming to the document you see in the background I have marked it in yellow I will read it for you and remember it was in February 2016 so almost two years ago Ripple plans to introduce programmatic distribution of XRP to market makers who use it to tighten, to tighten spreads for cross-currency transaction. It is assumed that this XRP incentive program will compress the spreads of trades using XRP. And, and those huge transactions regarding XRP we have seen in the recent days or weeks may be correlated to exactly that that they're actually filling the pockets of those market makers as market makers we could think of could be a bank which is allowed to hold xrp which which helps making that whole market fluid but as of now most likely market makers in the xrp market will be exchanges and that's in my opinion the reason why we have seen those those huge um not 
trade volume but payment volume the, the one off exchanges where they basically most likely have received enough XRP from Ripple and with that I wish you a nice weekend enjoy the weather if it's nice in your hometown as well enjoy your family go out have good quality time and see you later